love Georgia. Well, we got to do it again, guys. A few weeks ago, we had a conversation about what was at stake in these elections. We talked about the fact that we were in the midst of a global pandemic. Well, we've gotten a little closer to salvation with a vaccine, but the vaccine isn't going to solve every problem. And we have an economy that's in peril, but a new president can't solve that alone. And we are in the space where racial reckoning is not going to disappear just when the years change. We've got to stay committed and we've got to have a plan. Well, I've got two plans, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. John Ossoff understands what it means to be a small business owner. You see, he owns a business that has one singular objective, to root out corruption. And we picked the perfect target, David Perdue. Raphael Warnock has led his church and led his community with grace and with values. And we have a perfect target for him, someone who seems to forget her values when opportunity is on the line, and that's Kelly Leffler. But with John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock, when they get to the U.S. Senate, we get the better deal that we need. We get the change that we need. We get the progress that we need. But let, let's put it into context. You see, while 161,000 Georgians face eviction this year if we don't get relief, David Perdue and Kelly Leffler are writing strongly worded letters to a baseball team. While 160,000 people worry if they will be able to sleep inside at night, they're worried about the name of a baseball team. While we know that one in four small businesses in Georgia that were around last year have disappeared in 2020. Kelly Leffler and David Perdue are suing to overturn an election in the state of Georgia. And while we know that 4.1 million Georgians have filed for job loss claims, 4.1 million job loss claims, including 30,000 just last Thursday, the response from Kelly Leffler and David Perdue is to make money off of their stock trades. We deserve better, Georgia. We deserve John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. But we won't get them unless we do our part. You see, we've got to remember why we're doing this. We've got to remember that we just elected Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to go to the White House, but they need help. And if we do this right, We'll get Daniel Blackman in the PSC so our rates will go down and our opportunities will go up. But it's going to take all of us. It's going to take all of us to address an economic crisis that has imperiled our state. It is going to take all of us to address a health care crisis where nine of our counties don't have doctors, where 76 of them don't have OBGYNs, where 60 counties don't have a pediatrician for six children and where nine of our hospitals have shut, shut up, shut down since 2010. And instead of standing up for Georgia, Kelly Leffler and David Perdue have done nothing but fight to end health care and to take it away from Georgians. But we need Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff because they know that health care access isn't a slogan, it's a requirement, it is a right, and we will have it when we send them to Washington, D.C. where our economy is in peril, when we need investment in our small businesses, when people who proclaim to be capitalists seem to only believe in capitalism for themselves, when we need money to our families and businesses to help our communities, while Kelly Leffler and David Perdue watch Mitch McConnell burn our economy down and they stand behind them holding the matches, we need to send our firefighters, our first responders. We are sending John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock to D.C. to save America. That's what we deserve. And in a moment where racial justice, where economic justice, where environmental justice are on the line, Kelly Leffler poses accidentally for the second time with a KKK leader. And unfortunately, David Perdue has a hard time pronouncing the letter K. 
doesn't seem to understand that the diversity that built America is the diversity that will save America, but we don't have to wait for them to learn to do their jobs. We've got Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff, and they will get the job done. So I'm here to ask you for a little help one more time. You see, last time I talked to you, I said we needed to make a plan to vote. Well, we need to do it again. The last time we talked, I said, we need to send in our mail-in ballots, return them in your drop boxes or in your mailboxes, but we need to do it again. Last time we talked, I said, we need to early vote like we haven't before. You did it before, let's do it again. And on last call on January 6th, on last call, when we can finally cast our ballots and cast behind us the worst four years that we have had in a long time and lay out for all of us the best four years that are yet to come. I need you to show up. I need you to show out. I need you to bring your friends and your families, but I need you to bring your prayers and your spirit because we have a chance to save America, Georgia. And this isn't hyperbole, this is fact. Because as John likes to say, when Bonnie and Clyde go back to DC, they're going back for themselves. We need to get rid of Kelly and David. We need to lift up John and Raphael. And more importantly, we need to lift up the people of Georgia because we've waited too long. We have fought too hard, but we know how to do it because on November 3rd, we showed America what Georgia's got. So come on, y'all. Let's do it again. Let's get it done. Thank you so much.